What is going on all YouTubers? This is Code Agent 10 and welcome to episode 6 of Coding with Code. And in this episode of Coding with Code, I'll be showing you how to create a password protected file. Now, I did something very similar to this in one of my previous videos, I can't remember, can't remember which one it was. But um, I showed you how to create a password protected program like to how to put a password on uh, Google Chrome or Incredimail. But now I'm going to be showing you how to do that with a file. So, let's just go into my classified files here. And as you can see, I've got a bat file here that's a um, classified file. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I didn't actually create the file thing. Right, so as you can see, a new file has appeared that's called Locker. This is the thing that, uh, that has got the password onto it. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing in it because I haven't put anything in it. But in order to lock it as well, what you do is you just click on that again. Uh, click Y to lock it again. Uh, there we go, it's locked. And then to open it. You then want to you know, click on it again. It will ask you to enter a, a, a password. So the password of mine is password. Two S's, you nut. And there we go. It's successfully unlocked it. So, yeah, that's basically what it does. Um, in order to in order to create this, uh, I'm going to show you now. So let's just open up. You've got to open up notepads, come into here. Uh, I'm not going to bother typing it all in. I'm just literally going to paste. And here we go. This is all the coding. Now, in order to change the password, you want to do is you want to come down here. And here where it says password, you want to change that bit into whatever you want. So we could change it into, I don't know, hi if you wanted to. And that's what the password would be. Now, also, if you have it in caps lock, uh, you would actually have to type the, in the password in cap in capitals. Otherwise, it would just say it's an incorrect password. Or if you typed it in non capitals, so basically, whatever you've typed it in here, capitals or non capitals, that's how you've got to type it in when you're, you know, actually trying to lock the file. So, in order to save the file, what you can do is you're going to go into file, uh, go to save as, uh, choose a name, classified files. I'll do. And then you want to save it into either a bat file or a cmb a uh, cnd file sorry so it can either be a dot bat file or a dot cmd file so it should save it as cmd uh it can be all files or text document it really doesn't matter and then you just want to select an area where you want to save it so i've got it on my desktop click save la -da 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 -da. get rid of that and there we go there's your classified files document thing uh, let's just put it in there Open that up, open it up, let it create a file, continue, and there we go, there's your locker file. So, yep, in order to lock it, you just click Y, as I showed you earlier, continue, and there we go, it's it's locked. So, yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, then please leave a like down below. Um, all of the coding for this as well will be in the description down below as well. Um, I, and also, if you guys have any questions about this, like if it's screwing up or something, you're having problems, issues, or whatever, with general questions on how to do something, or I've missed something out, and yeah, you've got questions, anyway, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I will do my best to get back to them and help you out with whatever little issue you have with this program. So, yeah. Um, oh, and also, if you want me to show you how to create this cool little icon thing for a file, um, leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to that and I'll probably just make a tutorial on that actually um, but yeah anyway that's how you create a password protected program so yeah if you like this video then please leave a like down below hit that subscribe button that is just up there and if you're new to my channel then feel free to check out a few of my other videos I do all kinds of different videos I do Minecraft videos I do Call of Duty videos I do more coding with code videos obviously because this is episode 6 and so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, YouTubers.